Mr. Speaker. <laughs> Mr. Speaker, in recent years, there have been dastardly rumours that you and I do not get on. Oh. <laughs> Or even, heaven forbid, that we do not like each other. Oh, outrageous. Just before dissolution, I read an article by your biographer who bizarrely suggested that I might be ugly. <laughs> but as you know, it is said that politics is show business for ugly people. <laughs> so, Mr. P Speaker, I would say that we're all in this together. Mr. Speaker, I think it is time that we buried the hatchet. Yeah. Yeah. Preferably not in my back. <laughs> So I would like to offer an olive branch by clearing up a rumour about your car. <laughs> As you will know, in recent years, my relationship with cars has not been an altogether happy one. <laughs> but it has been said that a few years ago, my car reversed into yours in Speaker's Courtyard. You apparently saw the incident through the window of your apartment and you hurried out shouting at me, I'm not happy. <laughs> to which I am reputed to have replied, then which one are you? <laughs> If it is helpful to you, <laughs> I want to categorically confirm that this incident never happened. During the campaign, the Prime Minister visited Cornwall on a number of occasions. Yeah. On one occasion, a group of enthusiastic party supporters were summoned to a large cow shed to meet him. That's the way we do things in court. <laughs> in his rallying speech, he mentioned how glad he was to be in the county of Poldark. Like Poldark, the Prime Minister rode into Cornwall, not on a horse, but on a bus, where he was introduced by everyone waiting, to everyone waiting, by the Honourable Member for North Cornwall who himself has been likened to Aidan Turner, the actor who played Ross Poldark. <laughs> on, the morning, on the morning of the 8th of May, as votes were counted in that same cow shed, it became evident that true blue representation throughout Cornwall was on course to double when the Honourable Member for St Austell and Newquay was elected. Like Ross Poldark, the Prime Minister can now tell his wife that he too has his own six-pack. Six blue constituencies in Poldark County. Three new Conservative members joining myself and my honourable friends, the member for Truro and Falmouth and Camborne and Redmond.